Hey, what's up, everybody? It's Charles. I want to welcome you guys to another episode of Dreamers Pro Show, where we cover everything from sports, hot topics, classic debates, and entertainment. And when we give you guys a fresh perspective on things and how we see them. And today we have another episode for you guys that I'm sure is going to stir up a lot of conversation. So I can't, uh, I can't wait to get into it. So make sure you like the video, subscribe to the channel. Now, I knew from the moment we decided to produce this episode today, I knew it was going to make a lot of people you know, upset. And it's totally understandable, but it doesn't change the fact that, you know, sports is all about debates and sometimes we have to have them. And some people are going to come back to this and say, oh, this guy is doing it again. But hey, man, I didn't come up with the story. I'm just basically um, reacting to it. So y'all know, um, for, for those of you guys that have been following this channel for quite some time now, y'all know that I've always had LeBron James uh, as one of the five greatest players of all time. I had him at number four. Uh, but after this season, I decided that I was going to remove him from my top five and drop him down to number seven because I thought that the failure that this Lakers team had uh, this season was the biggest failure in NBA history, especially going into the NBA season. Uh, this team had championship uh, you know, um, expectations and aspirations. And for them to not even make the bloody play in tournament and you have teams like the New Orleans Pelicans, you know, I think the San Antonio Spurs. And the Los Angeles Clippers making it over them. I just said, okay, there's no way I can keep him in my top 10. And some people say, well, who do you have him behind? For me, right now, as we speak, um, I have him behind Michael Jordan, Kareem Abdul Jabbar, uh, Kobe Bryant, Shaq, Magic Johnson, and Tim Duncan. Some people think it's disrespectful. I think it's disrespectful to them, those guys ahead of, you know, ahead of him to, you know, put him in, in the top five. Because what it says is that um, we don't really care about winning and losing. It says that, you know, winning doesn't really matter, right? And to me, if we're talking about sports, it should matter, right? And if you win, you should be given credit for it. But if you lose, uh, it should be held against you. And I think if we have to make, if we constantly have to make excuses for why a particular player needs to be in the top five, then chances are that guy doesn't really need to be there, right? He doesn't deserve to be there. It's like going to a restaurant, you know, they don't want to let you in because they're like, man, I don't know if this guy can afford this menu. And like, no, 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 trust me. He's like, well, chances are, man. If we got to start convincing people about it, then I'm not really sure. But anyway, stumbled upon an article today via sportsrush.com. And it had to do with something uh, that Shaquille O'Neal had to say about Giannis Antetokounmpo, who is one of my favorite players, uh, you know, in the NBA. And he's a fan favorite on our channel here. A lot of people love the, the, the content that we produce around Giannis. So it says during a, uh, during a recent segment on this podcast, Shaq spoke about players not fearing going up against King James. LeBron is my guy, <laughs> but nobody was uh, ever scared of LeBron, Shaq said. So if you're not scared of a guy, you just have you have to you just have more confidence. That's a dangerous guy to play with. They respect him, but they don't fear him because I can tell I watched him play against them. They're not scared. Nevertheless, these was quick to point out uh, Giannis's ability to instill fear in his opponents. He said they fear Giannis now, said the Hall of Famer. They fear Giannis. Cause they see, cause they can see in his face when he is com coming down uh, the damn lane full court. They can see this guy is not playing, and of course, uh, Skip Bayless saw those comments. I don't know how the hell Skip Bayless saw it, and he basically reacted to what Shaq had to say. Uh, you know, on um, what is it on Twitter? And Skip Bayless says, "Love what Shaq said about LeBron. Nobody was ever scared of him. Exactly, everybody was scared of Jordan. No, uh, no <laughs> nobody of a nice guy." Can't close LeBron. Can't wait to hear Shannon try to defend this tomorrow on Undisputed. Now, obviously, uh, we all knew that Skip Bayless was going to chime in. The thing that's surprising to me is how he even got wind of this particular article. He must he must have been up uh, <laughs> doing some research and reading. Um, you know, so I'm not really surprised about that. The fact that he brought in Jordan just means that it's going to be another Jordan versus LeBron James debate on television today. And a lot of people are going to enjoy because they always, uh, you know, they they always do. So let me tell you why I think Shaq uh, gravitates towards Giannis Antetokounmpo. We all know that Shaq is fond of big men. Right, because he was a big guy. He was seven foot one, seven foot two. I even heard somebody argue, it's like Shaq, really seven foot three. Like he was a big guy, uh, so he always takes up for big guys. He takes up for you know the Joel Embiid's of the world and the Kola Jokic's of the world. Uh, so he likes big guys, and in this case, Giannis. Right, so he can he can see a lot of himself in you know in these guys. So that's the first thing we know. Uh, Shaq supports big men, and that's cool. And I think that's great because uh, why not? Right, because there are a lot of point guards that support other point guards. So I don't think anything. 
uh, is wrong with that. But what I think Shaq sees in Giannis is essentially this. I think Shaq sees himself in Giannis on its Kumpo. He said it before. You know, when a lot of people are trying to hand over the title of Superman uh, to Dwight Howard, Shaq was like, no. And Shaq was the first one that said, no, Giannis Antetokounmpo, this guy deserves to be called Superman. He's the guy that most deserves, uh, you know, that mo most deserves it. And I think Giannis Antetokounmpo, um, in my opinion, uh, is basically a skinny Shaq uh, that can run the floor, defend at a high level, and basically shoot the ball now. That's essentially what Giannis is. He's just a faster, quicker version of Shaq, except he can play hellacious defense and he, he can hit jump shots and now three-point shots. That's basically who Giannis is. The fact of the matter is this. Giannis is simply the most aggressive and dominant basketball player in the NBA today. This is not even up for discussion. No one in the NBA, and I mean no one, in the entire NBA, if we're talking about top of the shelf players, play with the level of ferocity that Giannis Antetokounmpo plays with. And the guy doesn't take plays off. Giannis has such a high motor that if you guys remember in the NBA finals, I believe it was in game one or game two, one of those games, Giannis comes into the game or the game starts and Giannis is so hyped for the moment. He's so pumped up. He's he's so ready to go at his opponents that he actually had to, I don't know if it was his coach or himself or maybe his brother said something. He, he actually had to be taken out of the game for like the first minute or so just to settle down, just so he can get back into the game and go at it. Giannis, when it comes to his mentality, uh, he's on a different, he, he's, I mean, the guy's in a class by himself. If we're talking about his approach, uh, you know, uh, towards his game. Now, um, if we talk about LeBron, in this case of people being scared, I don't think Shaq is talking about um, people not being scared of LeBron on a physical level, like to walk up to LeBron James and punch him. LeBron has to be, what, six foot nine? He must be, what, 250, 60 pounds? Chances are... The majority of, of physical altercations LeBron gets into or would get into, potentially get into, he would most likely come out on top, right? It's not, yeah, it's not always about, okay, the biggest guy in the room, but like, come on, cut it out. If you're five foot six and you're trying to go fight somebody that's six foot nine, there are a lot of things not working in your favor, right? So it's good to bear that in mind. So I don't think he's talking about from a physical standpoint. I think he's talking about from the fear factor on the court give you an example i remember watching the 2010 what was it no 2011 nba finals with the dallas mavericks and the um what is it the miami heat and jason terry and sean marion and these guys were trash talking lebron in a way i have never seen a superstar player i mean they were talking to him like he was just one of the dudes on the court like it was crazy right um you know i've seen kobe bryant for example go at lebron hella times on the court, like really go at him, like multiple, okay, especially in all-star games, like talk trash, talk to him. And I don't think these guys don't respect his game. I just think they're like, you know what? LeBron is not that type of player that wants to smoke in, in my person. I don't, I don't know this to be true, but when we're talking on the court, like there's certain players that if you trash talk them, for instance, if you trash talk a Giannis, you're, you're couple, you're, you're liable to get 50 and 15 on your head. Like you're liable to get a 50 piece with 15 rebounds and eight assists and like three blocks and two steals if you trash talk Giannis. I've seen LeBron get angry and go off, you know, on some of his opponents. But as far as like, you know, the trash talking, I, I don't, I've never seen anybody trash talk Giannis. I've never seen it. I've never seen it. So um, maybe that's what Shaq is referring to, right? And I know this is going to get a lot of people angry. But um, I think he's I think he's given his point of view and I don't think there's anything wrong with that. And obviously, the fear factor does is does exist in sports. Intimidation does exist. Now, we're not talking about boxing, but it does exist in sports. Right. The mental aspect. And, you know, Shaq maybe has a point. Maybe he does. So what I want to know from you guys, what do you think about the comments that Shaq had to make? Do you think uh, Giannis is more feared? Uh, then LeBron, whatever you guys think, please leave your thoughts and comments in the comment section below. Again, if you enjoyed the video, be sure to make sure you go ahead and hit the like button and uh, make sure you subscribe to the channel and we catch you guys on the next episode. Peace.